Welcome everybody to Multiplayer. We'll be talking about all the things that you love via video games and other things related to said video games. Woo! Joining me today are my co-hosts. We have Zach Matsganis. What's up? Man of many talents, many words, and many skills. I don't, I don't do th None yeah. of which are useful. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then on uh, his left, your right, we have Javier Ortiz. Hello. Sexy man of international uh, SNS, SNES, As, and yes. SMS. And international BDSM. man of SNES. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name. My title. Welcome, guys. This is the show. Uh, you have not been with us before. I know this because I don't know any of your names, but we'll, we'll get into that a little <laughs> later in the show. We're going to get real intimate. Today, we're going to be basically talking about who the fuck we are and who, uh, who's the better of the three. That's actually for you to decide. We'll have a poll at the very end of it so you guys can pick or not. But it's me. Um, <laughs> we'll have a contest. Okay. A smash contest. That's racist. Smashing? Smashing the yeah. smashes? Smashing. Which, I think that's a pretty good question to start off with. Who, uh, who is a smash? What's, what's their smash characters, guys? What, what are we doing? That's, that's the best way to define ourselves is... Well, which game? There's many smash that's games. True. Oh. Yeah. oh, guys. The only one that counts. Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go melee. Let's do that. We can narrow Ooh, down the melee. options a little bit. Ooh, I mean melee is also kind of it's broken. melee, not melee. I will punch you in the throat. Super if you say that. Smash Brothers melee. Melee. Yeah. melee. Um, no, yeah, I think that's a pretty good place hmm. to start to see what your guys' uh, mains are, and you can't have to pick one. Don't do this bullshit. Like, well, I warm up with Ganondorf, and sometimes <laughs> I kick everyone's ass with Brock. Like, no, like you have to pick. One guy yeah. who you would fight to the end of the world with. But in melee. In, in melee. melee. In melee. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, in real life. Pick <laughs> one person that you would destroy the world with. <laughs> uh, Kirby. Kirby? The, yeah, a little name? pink ball of destruction. But is that because you just do down B? We don't want to have spammers here. Yeah. No, not at all. It's because he, he he's not good at video games. So, just, you know, he you just know. plays. Right that's the exactly bat. it. That's right at the bat, we're just going to start defacing each other real yeah. quickly. You'd pick the lightest character if you're not good at video games. So okay. that's, that's Second follow up question Color. Uh, Very important for Kirby. For Melee, I always go Ghost Kirby. The black and white, Ooh, grayish. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost Kirby. Have to. Mm -hmm. Some would say that's the original Kirby. I, yeah, I guess technically. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Zach? Well, back in the Melee days, I was a Fox McCloud kind of man. You know? Who? You know. <laughs> Fox McCloud. <laughs> you know McCloud. Fox McCloud. <laughs> you know that that furry man? You don't pronounce the X. It's French, actually. It's Fa. <laughs> Well, yeah. I had a lot of people will say pho yeah. <laughs> but, No, I uh, dig that, absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, Fox with the uh, kind of the red red vest, the red oh, outfit, you know, nice. that was nice. kind of my style. Red boots. And, uh, like, when I first started playing Melee, you know, it's like I was, you know, I, I, I would say middle school, I guess. Sure. That sounds about right. Anyways, and so it's yeah. like... You know, I was just playing with like local local people, and it's like I would always just like spam one or two moves and and would win. I only played with the natives of where I lived at the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Native Americans. All of the natives. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, Man, I've always I'm, been I'm a big fan. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like fan. the very beginning of like uh, before I into Smash. You know, like what those characters when you like first test them out, like back in like uh, the '64 era of Smash Brothers, and that comes yeah. to you know. You pop in the cartridge, and all of a sudden you see these characters that you love and grew up with, and you're like, I'm about to beat the shit out of everybody with these guys. <laughs> well, you saw like, commercial, too. I know. Yeah, it was that was awesome. Part. Probably the best com video game commercial <laughs> of all time. Just I, that mascot one, and them yeah. just beating each other yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd have to say that, like, <laughs> I think one of my first character choices, well, obviously it was Mario, because he was like, you know, he's the, 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 the he is, yes. he is Nintendo. <laughs> 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 no, but, like, I, I spammed a lot in my day with uh, Samus's, um, Big Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And for 64. For 64. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's that's followed through all, through all, all four of them. But uh, no, now I've gone to my roots, my mustache roots, and went back to Mario. That's, <laughs> that is my main guy, and I'm talking Mario Fire Flower Mario. Yeah, I mean, that's the uh, best yeah, Mario. Yeah. I mean, that, that Mario course. is so dope. Absolutely. I think that's that, uh, you know, says a lot. You're a quick piece of shit. Yeah. You are fat, <laughs> and I obviously. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, but this is that's just melee. Absolutely. Yeah, so I was if only we, fat if, for if melee. We, if we went into the, you know Smash Four, we'd be here all day talking about like yeah. thousands and thousands of characters yeah. that there are. Quick question: What would be your absolute like dream character that they haven't included in four? In in four. Yeah. Oh, like a new one. Yeah. Well, 
so I, mm. I had this idea because it's like Nintendo, it, it specifically like with the Smash series and, and with Sakurai, it's like they they seem to always be able to like bring out these characters. That you're like, there's no way. Like, how is that character going to be in Smash? Like, you think mm -hmm, about like mm -hmm. like Snake, like Ryu. How the hell are they going to put Ryu? No, I'm just kidding. But it's like, <laughs> they always they, they find a He's way. A it's like yeah, they they find a way where it's like hope like holy shit. It's like they they made this character perfect in this game. Sure, sure. Yep. It's like Pac Man, for instance. It's like oh my what a God, crazy I character. About that or character. like Mr. Game and Watch, so where it's just like they. So I had this idea that I I hope Nintendo. I hope you're listening. <laughs> what I want in the Smash Four Deluxe for the Switch that you better be making, or I will hunt you down. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's not going is, to. I want <laughs> he's, he I want so much. Tetris blocks, like. Every Tetris block as a character, as a character, like they basically form <laughs> different uh, shapes wow. and and have different moves. I th but like then if for the Smash Ball, like it just uh, it spawns it just the straight. Like right <laughs> no, it just down. spawns the straight one, and, so, and then it just like it destroys <laughs> your character. High score. Yeah. But I like I, I think for you know Smash Brothers. If anybody could do it right, it's it's the Smash team that's, that's, and Sakurai. Yeah. Super creative. Like, yeah. Tetris blocks would be so dope, and I mean, and it's such an iconic, you know, if you want to think of it yeah, like a I character. Yeah, I would Video games in general. Like, yeah. I know. It's. I was gonna say something lame, like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> but I, not... I just want Mario. <laughs> in a, in a, in a, just want more all in iterations a of Mario. Outfit. <laughs> oh man, I would love to see Banjo and Kazooie in Smash Bros. That of course, it won't awesome. happen because yeah. Rare went with Microsoft, you know, and they're in bed together yeah. forever now. It seems, but. Yeah. Oh, Banjo Kazooie, man, that was the game back in the day. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, and yeah. to have them with all their like different power ups and stuff, like with yeah. the, you know, and I'm talking about like all the Banjo and Tooie power ups too, you know, like with the oh, grenade yeah. eggs and everything. They have yeah. so much to pull from to be a lot yeah. of fun. But that's, if you know, only, if only indeed. Yeah, really. But if uh, if anybody could like strike a deal, I, I think it yeah. could be Nintendo and Microsoft with something yeah. like that. I mean, if they were, yeah, yeah, if they can get snake. Do you know? Do, I mean, like honestly, if Rare went back to Nintendo. How much their like resurgence would be, you know what I'm saying? Like, It'd be so sweet. Yeah. It would be like a whole revolution of like <laughs> really amazing nice, rare yeah. games again. But only, only time will tell. We can only yeah. hope for the best. Yeah. All right, guys. So we kind of got a little bit of uh, you know who we are and what. Obviously, we love we all love Smash. Um, some yeah. of us are better I'd than say, others in Smash. I'd say it's a good start to episode zero. Absolutely, absolutely. I was thinking that, you know. This is a this is a video game centered uh, show, mm -hmm. yep. podcast or anything like that. You guys obviously want to hear about video games, but you don't know who we are. Of course, no idea. We each have our names. You already know our names, and you know what character we chose for Smash. What our mains are <laughs> for Melee. But like, why why are we getting together to talk about video games? Like, what yeah. does that have to do with us in our daily lives? Like, why have we wanted to do that and get a group? So, I kind of want to ask you guys, like, what uh, what do video games mean to you? You know, like why why that medium have you latched onto so heavily? Oh, yeah. I mean, going back to childhood, like it was pretty Only much. Only if an it's not gonna, you know, bring up some nightmares. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. My uh, father used to beat me with take an NES controller, controller <laughs> to whip it around. Just no. <laughs> nothing, nothing so violent. Uh, I mean, when I grew up, my uh, neighborhood I lived in, there weren't really any kids. And so going outside really wasn't an option for me. I didn't really go outside as a kid. You should you should have questioned that. <laughs> Why I didn't go outside? It's like there were no kids, but there was always a, a weekly <laughs> gathering of people in cloaks. I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, just down the corner. I wonder uh, what happened to Steven. No, I'm just <laughs> well, if there wasn't any Stevens, yeah. where I live was a pretty crappy neighborhood. Um, well, you're in Philly. Yeah. Philly's a crappy neighborhood. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so it was pretty much... You couldn't really go outside because there really wasn't much to do outside, sure. you know. So I would just play video games, and my earliest memories of video games was my Super Nintendo. That was my first system. Um, I didn't even know about the Nintendo, the NES, before yeah, yeah. the Super Nintendo. And uh, yeah, like I popped in a few games, um, but the game that really like got me into video games was uh, when I played Mega Man X for the first time. I was just like, like blown away. Like mm. this is. This is not like watching a cartoon. Are made yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's and it's like that was the beginning of like a love for a medium, uh, uh, art medium, which sure. is I think it's second to none. I honestly think it's better than movies, TV. Mm -hmm. uh, is that your much... favorite game too? Is Mega Man Max? Oh, I mean, of all time, that's. The... I mean, like I know it's a really like blindsiding question yeah. to ask somebody. Like you know, I w I would say it's the most 
important, influential game in my life because that was the game that really made me want to play video games. Sure, sure, sure. And it just made me want to just learn more about them, be everything about it. Because, like, visually the game's beautiful, musically it's beautiful, mm -hmm. gameplay is beautiful. Like, everything about it is really good, and that kind of just started a passion for games Absolutely. for me. Man. You know, I've actually never beaten Mega Man X to completion. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> but like, it's like kind of like one of those things I don't want to do, because I can keep going back to it, and it's just like, I get just far enough, it's brand new, and I go, okay, okay, step back. Yeah. I can keep enjoying it just well, a little nice, every time. <laughs> the nice thing is uh, SNES Classic is coming out. So yeah, the SNES gonna, Classic is you're gonna, coming You're going to have a chance to yeah. play it. Or you know, like I didn't realize how oh, I didn't yeah. realize how popular the the, the NES classic was going to be until like I realized yeah. that people were lining up outside of like Targets and like Best Buys and stuff yeah. for that system. And I was like, but here's the thing I'm a little confused about is that we already have the Virtual Console on you know well the Wii's pretty much dead. The Wii U some people still have it. Yeah. I mean they're gonna there's a Virtual Console on uh, Switch. Not necessarily the same games though just yet. Yeah, but like, what is the point? of buying a an, an NES Classic when you have the Virtual Console. I mean, it's... Same thing with the you know, Super I, I think it's... A, uh, there's, a, there's a couple different things with that, and, you know, obviously we can get more into that with, like, our, our next episode, too. But, you know, it's it's just one of those things where it's... You know, not everybody has a Switch, but they have 80 bucks that they want to yeah. experience, uh, like, sense. you yeah. know, 21 of the greatest games of all time. It's true. Or 20 and, and a game that's never been released. But, you know, mm -hmm. that's... Well, we'll have to talk mm -hmm. about that a little later. But yeah. first, I want to know, what is your for first foray into video games? So, mine, it literally, like, it goes all the way back to when I was three years in old. In the womb. I was in the womb. <laughs> With a controller. My yeah. mom yeah. accidentally swallowed <laughs> an a NES controller. Don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> she was into some weird things. <laughs> I already mentioned my father used to beat me with an NES controller. <laughs> ah, <But>. violent household. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, violence. <laughs> Didn't come from games. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, literally my, my first memory when I was a kid. I, I remember waking up on the couch in my living room. Uh, and Yeah, I know. You I know, had the same thought. Like, why? Yeah, so I, I woke up on the couch in, in my living room. As opposed to the one in your garage. <laughs> yeah. Or on the side yeah. of the street. <laughs> that's, that's a whole other story. And... You know, I look over and my, my brother was playing uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, on, on our living room I've never heard of TV. that one. It's, it's about this, like, hedgehog, this blue hedgehog. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds familiar. It's, that's what it's crazy. But, yeah, he, he, was, he was playing Super Mario Brothers, and, and then he ended up, uh, he got up and he went somewhere else, as people do. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember just, like, sitting down and, and playing Mario Brothers. And it was, like, the very first thing I can even remember as, as a kid when I was like three years old. Oh my goodness. That's and uh, I know, right? <laughs> and I mean, it's like video games have just been my entire life. You know, obviously I've, I've done other things too. I've no, gone haven't. to school. You don't have to <laughs> prove anything to everyone who's and, watching. You, know, I, you I, haven't. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, play, I play, I've played sports my entire life, but video games have always just been such a influential part of my life uh, from the NES onwards. Sure, sure, sure. And so, I mean, I've, I've had every Nintendo console and uh, every Sega console, every PlayStation console at one point. Uh, so, I mean, I've, I've, you know, it's just been such a huge part of my life. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I've, I was a big Nintendo fan for the most part, just hardcore Nintendo guy. Right. And, you I know, can't tell. I've, yeah, all right. Would have never know, guessed. Yeah. All the you know, things. <laughs> only you can see the there's, other side. There's a lot of things. There's, there's gonna be pictures on the social media of, of my stuff. There's a plug. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out our Twitter and our Instagram. At Go Multiplayer. Go Multiplayer. <laughs> Go multiplayer. Get, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back. Yeah. Don't worry. So I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, the the NES was it was you know obviously very early memories for me. I, I sure. was like three or four. My it was like my older brother brothers uh you know console for the most part but you know i remember playing the you know mario brothers one mario yeah. brothers two three i think that's a lot of like people's first um kind of well i mean not now i don't even know where like the i generation where their first games are going to yeah. be like what that it's it's so weird there's yeah. the the new generation now it's like oh my first video game's angry birds and it's just like yeah it's terrifying it's i mean mobile. like you know or be like you we know all like, have our what opinions the... about the mobile game market and stuff like that i personally am not a big fan of it but yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, like, I mean, that's what so might dictate the future of video games, yeah. depending, you know, like, it's, it's a little scary of a thought. Yeah. 
I mean, some of it's okay. I mean, like, I'm a huge Don't fan of, like... Don't defend them. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> but, like, Plants vs. Zombies? Like, I love that game. Oh, I do, too. Yeah, I think that's, that's such a fun one. game. Yeah. So stuff like that's okay. That's yeah. that's just interesting to think about, like what they're for. Like, what was your first video game? It's, you know, it's not like, gonna be yeah. Tetris. Halo or... Four. It's like, whoa. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think for this generation, a lot of the a lot of kids will be like, my first game was Minecraft. Yeah, and it's, oh, I, mean, right. I, I think that's true. really cool. If because you know it's super creative and you can just kind of do anything. Yeah. And like some of the stuff that these kids create in Minecraft today, it's really yeah. incredible. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's incredible. And I'm really glad that's happening too. Like I think the video game industry in a whole is now being a lot more accessible to a whole a wide range of audience. You know? Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Or a wider range, um, audience range, whatever. A lot of different demographics are now finally coming in and starting to play a whole bunch of different games with each other, you mm -hmm. know, with uh, you know, all ages, all sex, all genders and stuff like that. And it's really fucking awesome. And I'm just happy to be a part of that community. And hopefully it'll grow and continue to grow exponentially like it yeah. has been the like, last couple of years. And like that's really where my love for video games kind of came from as well. Like I, I definitely, my sister had, um, I don't know why my parents bought my sis, my older sister a uh, Nintendo 64. <laughs> they thought that she would like it, but she played it like maybe a couple of times and then I ended up just like, I would wake up before everyone else in the house and like run over to 64 and just, just yeah. turn on the, the light and hear the ding from the Super Mario 64. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. is it me, Mario? And I was like, that is the best sound <laughs> ever. <laughs> Those are like the best opening ever because you could just start like manipulating Mario's yeah, face. That yeah, that was like my cup of coffee <laughs> for like oh, many years of my life, yeah. you know? <laughs> you and I'd wake up and, and just start <laughs> going. That's I mean, like I learned how to read with that game. Yeah. The four, of course, the first words I read were wah ha 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 when you walk into <laughs> yeah. the castle. Still though, Still, that yeah. that plays in my head. Anytime like, uh, I have an like, evil kind of like sinister plot going on, I hear that, <laughs> you know, like that like, kind of wind up. But uh, but like one of my earliest memories though, like I actually really like started to get very into video games and like realized uh, how cinematic and and how uh, you can get so sucked into them yeah. was I ended up hanging out like I lived in this apartment complex growing up and I ended up hanging out with a lot of there's a crap load of kids. I think all the kids that weren't in your <laughs> yeah. neighborhood came to mine. Yeah. There's so many kids. And so we would all get together at someone's house and there's a bunch of older kids too who were like, oh, we're going to go play Zelda. And I was like five, six years younger than all of them. And I was like, I'm going to tag along too. And we went in and they popped in this cartridge with a sword and a shield on the front of it and like gold and you know red yeah. lettering. And I didn't know what the hell it was, but as soon as it came up, they were doing the spirit temple. And I distinctly remember seeing when they finally like... Uh, brought the, the ship to life in that level to get to the next area of the dungeon. When that happened and they were fighting the Stalfos on that on the ship's deck, I on the <laughs> ship's dick. When they were fighting the Stalfos <laughs> on the ship's dick, no, that like it blew my mind. And I just like, continuously remember just like like eyes open, mouth wide, just like, what what is this? And then I borrowed yeah. that game from my friend Ben. Ben I appreciate you, You're man. a good guy, Ben. You really... You, you, <laughs> Thank you, Ben. You, we you, all appreciate you. You're the origin for my <laughs> huge nerd love of Zelda. But, uh, yeah, and I just I remember, like, popping in that game and just, like, running around with Onapona, like, through Hyrule Field for, like, hours. And then my dad came in, who, like, is not a big video game, you know, person. And he would just sit down and watch me, like, because he loves horses. I don't really randomly. Oh, well. like, this is a great game. He just plays all the time. And I was like, yeah. And yeah. So, so he would just, like, rent that game for me continuously from Blockbuster, and we just played the hell out of that. Did he like Opponent's uh, theme? Hmm? Did he like Opponent's theme? That was actually another thing too. That's I got really into music because of that game as well. I mean, I mean it's a great soundtrack. Yeah, it's... I used to just play the Ocarina all the time. And the Bolero Fire is still one of the best songs in Ocarina of Time, I yeah. think. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's just that, that so game. Many good ones. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's definitely a game that was. I mean, the, the 64 generation in general was just yeah. such a huge uh, kind of eye opening experience. When, yeah. like, when Absolutely. That, when I. So when I was like a kid, you know, uh, Nintendo started like mailing me VHSs with like games that were coming out. Specifically, like, you? Yeah. Like yeah. just you. Just me. What? You know, me and Nintendo, we we had this like real tight <laughs> relationship. No, I mean that you know I was part of like a like a club Nintendo kind of thing, gotcha. whatever oh, it was yeah, called yeah. at the, the time. You but, phrased that, I was like, yeah. oh my and, god, uh, exclusive. No, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, they're over there. Yeah. But it's. Uh, you know, they, they, there were just these VHSs they would mail mm -hmm. me with, like, new games that were coming out with, like, Banjo-Kazooie and sure. Mario 64 and, and Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. And Ooh. I would just see these games like, what the hell is yeah. that? Like, you know, just, there was nothing like it yeah. that had ever come out. So it's like playing, like, Mario 64 was just mind-blowing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You say, like, kind of manipulating Mario's face was just like, like, how is this possible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, when... when Ocarina of Time came out. That was like a movie yeah. that you could play. It was mm -hmm. just like you play that game and you just go through like every emotion from like 
There's you know? so much. You know, like, I, I still, like, will pop that in. And uh, I used to have this little, like, kind of routine where I would, like, beat a dungeon a day. Yeah. Like, that was, like, my whole, like, I'm going to play it till I beat the dungeon. Then I'm done. Yeah. I'm going to go do my, like, go to work or do whatever I have to do. And then pop it back in the next day. And then it was, like, just, like, kind of like a, yeah. you know keeping myself fit yeah. Zelda wise kind of thing and, <laughs> oh man even even like little like this is totally something that I mean it may be on purpose and totally coincident, coincidental but like playing Ocarina of Time now you know there are kind of two halves of the game child, young Link and mm-hmm. then adult Link mm-hmm. and like it's amazing how young Link everything is you know Kakariko Village and you know Hyrule fucking uh, Jabu Jabu's belly I hate that level yeah. I hate that level so much and I hate Princess Ruto she can die. Oh, <laughs> God. I always liked her, though. Dude, she's such... She, I mean, and I don't use this word often. You know, I'm not going to use this word. She's so mean. She's so <laughs> manipulative and mean. I hate her. I mean, she always I make, you know what? She reminded me of my sister. She was just like, carry me. I'm like, I'm smaller than you. Yeah. You know, like, what? Everyone takes advantage of poor little Yeah, I, th- I think that's just like a, a problem with everybody in those games. They're like, hey, could you go do yeah. this thing for me? Like, fuck you. I'm trying to save the world yeah. over here. And you're do like, you know oh, Zelda? You? She's going to die. Like, like, it's like the princess. I can't go get your masks right now. It's like I can't get your chickens and put them in the pen. I'm yeah. trying to save the world. Fuck your cow. Learn to play an ocarina. I, why do I have to do it? It's like I just did all this for a bottle. Yeah, yeah. You gave me a bottle. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like every every game like that where it's just like you know you have like fetch logic. quests and yeah, stuff yeah, where yeah. it's like why am I doing this <laughs> why am I this is like I'm saving the world why yeah. am I doing Gandorf this Gandorf is literally right over there and you're like okay get back on track and then all of a sudden you pass some guy and you're like yeah I do want to do slingshot practice you know, for like 70 minutes jeez no that, I mean like I think that was like the most influential like system for myself like growing up was the 64 because like I just yeah. You know, and that's, I was, my next follow-up question, uh, I guess I can kind of like lead into it, was I continuously now to this day, like, will find myself humming um, the uh, Gruntilda's Lairs theme all the time. And I think that that game specifically, its music is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time, oh. too. Just because, like, oh, the yeah. way that so they, mer- yeah. you know, like, when you went to New Worlds before you actually entered the world itself, they had, like, yeah. the MIDI, like, transition to all that, like, world's like instruments and everything. Mm-hmm. It was just so immersive and I loved it. So you really knew when you were coming up to a new place and like everything changed, the whole atmosphere, like, you know, the, the floor started to turn to sand as you're going to yeah. um, Rusty Bucket Bay, you know, stuff like that. But uh, I was going to ask you, what are some earworms that have come from video games that you like continuously like hum every now and then? And they just keep coming back. Whoa, it's tough. Well, I could tell you like, uh, and I, I think I mentioned it the other day, like, uh, just the the first level in Super Mario Bros. Th- Three, I yeah. think, just has just <laughs> like that overworld ding, theme. It's just ding, 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 like I'll, I'll just be like walking down the street or something, like do 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 do. Yeah, and everyone's like, "What the fuck is wrong with that guy's neck?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I'm, I'm a home and things, all right." <laughs> Go play Super Mario Brothers Three. Get back to me, all right? You punk, and then I kick him in the face. With my with fist. With your fist? I mean, <laughs> I mean punch. Nate and Mick, do you guys have like a soundtrack? I just, don't answer, just like hum it. Can you just like, let's see if we can get it. Do, 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 do. Oh. Uh, do uh, do, do, yeah. Do, do, yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, well, All right, was. Nate. Good one. That's my favorite <laughs> one, too. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, the, the, I yeah, feel like the woman is not a video game song, especially not together to sing the Halo theme from Halo 1. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh. Right, no, I'm keep going. I'm, I'm serious. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nate. <laughs> I did. It was a perfect like, cover. <laughs> you know, when it comes to like. Uh, <laughs> When it comes to like <laughs> v- video game openings and music and stuff, Halo One is definitely pretty killer. Like just oh, that man. that opening with like, yeah. you know. Uh, I would have been a, your daddy is still the best like checkpoint in that game. I'm trying to, God, it's been so long since I've even. Played oh Halo. man, it's where uh, it's when you go out finally for the first time in like the snowy parts of the Halo. Right. And then I don't know why, but I always uh, my friend and I always used to quote um sarge when you go five team zulu it's a media assist everyone go 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 you know like, it's like yeah, yeah. so badass because that's where you first get the rocket launcher you're like Whoa! it's amazing 
Uh, sorry, I had a little bit of a like, good. regression there. But uh, if we're talking orchestra like no, music, I mean, well, you just did because <laughs> we just had a whole cover of Halo. <laughs> but like in terms of orchestra, I love the opening to Uncharted. Like I think the Uncharted oh, thing is so cool. It, it sounds so good. Yeah. Wait, what's the first? Was that the first? That's the theme on all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, they kind of change it a little, but it's yeah. very consistent. It, you start out with like those drums, like. Doo, 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 doo. Do, do, do. Ba, da, da, da. Yeah, like, so, so that's really good. And yeah, adventurous. Yeah, dude, that, that orchestra, like that score, and that's another thing about games nowadays. Like the scores, they're like just orchestra. They, they got score, some, uh, really I can never pronounce his name correctly, but um, well, now I don't know his name. Oh yeah, yeah. Gustavo Santaolalla, hey. uh, oh. the the I don't know. he was a composer for Last of Us, mm. which was like one of the oh. best, oh, d- the best freaking soundtracks of my, like in I mean, recent like couple one of, of the years. best games of all time. But he, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he's yeah. like an, an amazing and accomplished uh, composer, like mm-hmm. on a whole diff- a slew of different. He does a lot of uh, he did I believe he did Brokeback Mountain, he scored that. He also scored Babel by. Well, now we're going to like film stuff, but yeah. <laughs> well, you, but you see, like guys, the but... crossing of the lines. Like video exactly, games have yeah, now reached that point. Yeah, where it's like they they're are super big budgets and absolutely you know, in sure. terms of orchestra I mean, they do and writers. Have the same budgets as like these huge blockbusters. Yeah, yeah, as well, totally. So. I, I always imagine like what it's like to see like the first draft of like a script for Skyrim, like just like because there's a, just, a ton of dialogue yeah. in that game. It's like a good. Yeah. Like, like six thousand page yeah. script. You know, they just you just walk into a room and you're like, why is this room so bright? These are all post-it notes. You <laughs> yeah. know, like just like everyone is like catch caught a glimpse of a not like a conversation throughout their day and just posted a whole. Fucking yeah, room. like it's just, I like a game out of this. I can't imagine how that gets made. Yeah. Like a game it's like that, or like The Witcher, or something. something. It's insane. Ah, the Witcher oh. took something from me. That's why, that's why we're doing this and not developing life. games. Yeah, have <laughs> <laughs> no time for all that work. <laughs> it was too much. <laughs> so. I, you know, we've talked about like what we love about video games and like what are some of our best memory, memories, <laughs> memories, <laughs> my momories. favorite memories, yeah. <laughs> the best memories. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good word. Well, we we also are uh, cause a little bit of linguists, not to brag. Um, no, so we always talked about like you know our triumphant moments and like what we love about video games and the things that like you know get us pumping. But mm-hmm. what are some games? And I'm gonna ask two questions, and you can choose to answer both or one. Okay. Or just punch you. Or just punch me. Yeah. That's that's always option C. Just just striking the throat. Um, What was a game that took something from you? (laughs) My virginity. God. Yes. In the term, like you know, in the sense of like you played a game that was so bad that you'll never get. Well, they all took my money. That's for sure. (laughs) Well, that's true. Um, And or what is one game or a level or a boss specifically that like made you nearly tear? Like I remember. Specifically for myself, the last Bowser, with the amazing uh, like pipe organ music, that last Bowser, I think I played that over and over trying to beat it for at least three hours when I was about eight years old, and I just couldn't do it because I hadn't had the dexterity and I was kind of an idiot. Um, <laughs> but still, are. but like I distinctly remember just like dying and going, "Fuck you, Bowser! <laughs> God, what? I'm like trying to break the controller, but like, <laughs> like gritting yeah. my teeth and like. You know, and there's like certain points where as soon as you, or he comes out and goes, krr, krr, and you can't skip it, you're like, oh, I'm fucking Bowser, walking on my stupid floor. I'm like doing that. I'm so mad. And my family would come and be like, are you okay? I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be like my experience. Like that, that fucking Bowser took something from me. But when it killed, it was amazing. That was like the best. That was like my highest moment also. But yeah. like, what are some of those moments for you? Or like one, if you could like narrow it down to one of the worst. Uh... I mean, it's, I don't know if this necessarily counts because it's on, like, the hardest difficulty of that game. But in the first God of War game, playing it on the hardest difficulty, which I think was God mode. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, playing it on that mode, the final boss, Ares, that, like, there because you fight him once, and then after you fight him, like, mid-fight, you have to do this army of Kratos's where you have to Mm -hmm. fight them all. And that, like, when I first played that game on, like, the hardest difficulty... That took me like four hours into it. I put my controller down, and like, because I was same with you, I was about to just rip it in half. Yeah. I put it down. I like turned off the TV. I walked away. Like took a walk around my block just to like clear my head. <laughs> I came back inside. I'm like, all right. You ever, you ever, you not, ever like yeah. get so mad you realize that your eyes are getting a little misty because you're like yeah. so mad, like tears are about to come. Stop like, it. <laughs> yeah. But it's like I came back and I was just like, all right, I just have to just. Ares, I'm going to kill you and all of your Kratoses because yeah. 
I hate you. I hate <laughs> the developers of this it. game. Gamers I hate all are, of you. Gamers are kind of masochists, if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We continuously play games that piss us off or that, like, tell us that yeah. we suck and we fail and we fail and we fail and we fail. And we're just looking for that one little moment, that one victory. Yeah, but it's oh so satisfying so when you satisfying. get it. Yeah. It's exactly. the best. What's a good moment for you? <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I, I could just say any fucking boss in the... Mega Man series. It's just, <laughs> it's just all of them are so, yeah. so awful. I, you know, I, I'll have to give a, a good shout out to Sigma and, and Mega Man X. It just, it took me forever Thank to you, figure Sigma. out. <laughs> the best. Props to you, Sigma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, just, yeah, Sigma and uh, that final fight in Mega Man X, for some reason, I, I just, I could not beat him for, for the longest time. Yeah. And it's because uh, you had to use that stupid armadillo. armadillo. Yeah, the barrier. And it's just like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Who uses that? <laughs> you gotta use the pink, man. You gotta trust pink. But it just, I mean, I remember just, I mean, every Mega Man game, I, 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 I strongly feel like it should just come with like a, like a booklet of every cuss word. Because <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd be sitting there playing those games, yeah. and I would just be like, <laughs> uh, No, it's about it's okay. the best. I was trying to get there. I was like, should I go all the way? Yeah, that, yeah, just, that I mean, exemplifies it perfectly. But like, if you want that, like the first Mega Man, uh, Flame Man, or no, Mega Man or Mega Man Two, Flame Man, the the level with two. the yeah, it's two. two with the bricks that disappear. Oh God! Like, just... I, I played that, and I like almost threw my controller at the the TV because I'm like. This is stupid. What kind of level is this? Yeah. Why do you have bricks that disappear? What does that have to do with fire? Like, it didn't make any sense. I, it was so stupid. This doesn't logically make any <laughs> sense. It's so, it's so stupid. <laughs> You're like, so then, you, then you realize, like, way later on, it's like, wait, I could have just used Rush yeah. and just skated across the whole thing. Yeah. It's like, come on, yeah, kids. All those damn Mega Man games, yeah. they just piss you off. Like the, I still haven't beaten this. any of those either. Jesus. For that reason, like, oh, yeah. do you like you like to start stuff and don't finish it, don't you? No, that's not true. <laughs> I just those games, man. They take a lot from me. Like, <laughs> I don't they know take if a lot I have any more to give after Link to the Past, fucking uh, oh, so the uh, the Ice Temple. Oh my God! Like, I just remember <laughs> dying so many fuck off times in that level, <laughs> and I'm getting so pissed. And it just keeps building and building, and you can't fucking stay still because you're sliding over the goddamn place. Yeah. And you swing one, but then you keep sliding into another fucking flaming skull. <laughs> and you're like, ah, why is it so hard? Yeah. And that boss, I don't, I don't even remember. I've like blocked it out completely. I you know, just that boss. Yeah. And that fucking I think that one was like, I think it was like that giant eye thing that had all those clouds that you used the hook shot and you grab them. You, I think that was that one. Did you I get could the hook be shot wrong. In that level, I I think you might be right. It, I, but I also could just yeah. be bring, being nice to you. Uh, yeah, you could. Be. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I, I think that might be it. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I think, I think what we've learned today <laughs> is that Guillermo doesn't finish we games. We hate. We have a hate, a strong hate love relationship with you. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, well yeah, it's yeah. it's like it's like playing a video game is like building IKEA furniture. If you're not screaming at it at one point, oh, you're not God. doing it right, or it's yeah. not, you know, like. <laughs> There's, there's a process, but uh, but yeah, no. So like, I, I think that that's really like what brought us together. Uh, essentially, the first time was like, oh, you hate that boss too, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, and then yeah. we all just like kind of like had a nice little congregation of just like talking about those worst and best times, and that's right. pretty much what we want to do here. We want to yeah. have you know build a community with people to tell our experiences and to you know also inform because this is a very you know laid back show. Yeah. Uh, we will be doing a lot more news related stuff, but this first episode we wanted to give you guys a little like kind of personality, like who we are, and a little introduction and figure that whole stuff out. Yeah. Before we just start like you know blaring flat facts at you, <laughs> blaring blacks at me. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so we want to be able to bring talk about that on a daily basis. And have you guys kind of join the conversation as well and tell us like what your worst moments are, what your first video game that you played was, what blew your mind, you know, like what, hell, I didn't even get to this question today, but like what, you know, I've cried multiple times with video games, not oh, yeah. from like anger, but like yeah. genuine, like this is a beautiful moment, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption. And, oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, there you that go. game. Yeah. For me, I mean, like last time I think I, I cried was, oh, The Last Guardian, when I beat that game. Mm -hmm. And I was like so happy, I was like, brought tear. This is good. <laughs> this was worth it. But uh but yeah, so like you know, what what games uh did those did that for you and 
you know, let us know. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Nate will be making sure to go through all those comments. So please make fun of his uh, accent. That'd be great. <laughs> but you uh, can hear it through the yeah. comments. <laughs> no, Will's, that that joke's eventually going to get old, Nate. Like <laughs> eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really quick, behind the camera, if, I don't know if everyone saw our Patreon video. If you haven't, you should definitely go to www.patreon.com slash multiplayered and check that out. You can get a little bit more of us and everyone involved. But we, behind the camera today, we have Mick and Nate. Mick Wee. with an M, as you'll see in the Patreon video. For and, multiplayered. Uh, and yeah, they'll be, they'll, be, <laughs> they'll be coming in and like, you know, uh, if you do donate a dollar to our Patreon, you'll be getting uh, exclusive bonus content as well, which you'll be having like special episodes with these guys. But in the meantime, you'll be hearing them with their like little asides and stuff, and of course, Mick singing glorious covers of uh, the Halo soundtrack. <laughs> but before we get out of this whole situation, I kind of want to hear from you two. What what was a you know a game that potentially like made you want to rip your hair out? Nate, you take this one. I'm just thinking back to, to some of the, uh, like, when you're really young and you're playing a game, like, Age of Empires for me. Age of Empires. Yeah. Definitely not aimed at someone who's, like, seven years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, you don't understand any of the core ideas of how a game like that works. <laughs> but you're just like, I just want to send this, like, uh, this knight to attack this guy. And it's like, that's definitely not what you were supposed to do in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like, logical you are about that. That's, that's yeah. amazing. At seven years old, like... Mm, I don't think that was right. I don't think that was right. <laughs> Mick, what about you? Well, to chime in what he said, playing Age of Empires, but I played it when I was like 18, I still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, conquering lands, even when you're 18, is still pretty difficult, all right, Mr. Nate? Okay. Yeah, not everyone's Alexander the Great. You can't all do it. You know? Um, oh, Man, I don't know. You know, I think... There's, I mean, I played a lot of the Final Fantasy series, mm -hmm. and I did really well through them, and then I kind of took a break... And coming back, I came back to like Final Fantasy XIII, and I got to a boss, and I fought it maybe 77 times or something like that. <laughs> Give or take. And I still have not beaten it to this day. Oh my god. I walked away, and I haven't touched it since. Oh that is god. a fucking episode. Like, we have to get you to play that, and we're going to sit down for as long as it takes and beat it. That's a game that, that kind of... I mean, all the Final Fantasies. There's always one point, you know, if you because they made it so you start rushing through those games, you don't, you can't beat the bosses. You have to take your time and you know, and, grind. and go to each section of every map and yeah. grind and get right. the best yeah. item yeah. of every yeah. weapon, you know. So I definitely say the Final Fantasy series. All right, well, if you need to figure out the name of that boss, because that's you're gonna beat that on this show. It was the blonde haired dude, I think. That that's, was his name. Yeah, absolutely. Blonde haired guy. <laughs> yeah, that makes we were sense. On a big, like, yeah. Helicopter pad. I remember his name was Chad, but probably you know, <laughs> Chad. he looked like a Chad. <laughs> we'll definitely like, make like Sephiroth knockoff. You know, when oh, I was coming. Back. We'll definitely make that happen. I like That'll it. Happen. All right, so I just want to give a special shout out and thank you to DJ Cutman for supplying us with our amazing chiptune music. You can find more of that music at his website and on his SoundCloud, djcutman.com. Also, guys, if you like this show a lot and you want to help us out a little bit, you should visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash multiplayered. We have a video up there that kind of describes what you will be getting with all those incentives, but if you throw us a buck or two, you can get some extra content just for that. So it's going to be good stuff. Out. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's a lot for a dollar, too. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if only they knew for a dollar. <laughs> if only. <laughs> and obviously, you can check us out. Uh, on our social media web pages, mm. uh, my Twitter handle is Zach Matt Scannis, at Zach Matt Scannis, Z A C K M A T Z G A N I S. That's too much. <laughs> T Z A Q 7 and the yeah. Batman symbol. <laughs> so a lot, a lot of letters. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Multiplayer Hav, J A V, um, on Twitter. So on there a lot. And be sure to check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash multiplayered. And uh, if you're a podcast listener, be sure to check us out, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, any of that fun stuff. And also leave us a review because, uh, you know, that, that helps us to, you know, know what we're <laughs> screwing up with. Tell us you hate <laughs> well, our I mean, face only, through the podcast. Only, only positive reviews. Like, we don't... Give us, like, we're like very it's self -conscious. out of five stars, give us six, all right? Yeah, give, us, give us, like, a good Yelp review as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. You can find me at Mas Dorado on Twitter, and you can also find me on Instagram at Guillermo underscore Dorado. I'll leave you to the spelling on that. I'm sure that'll lead to lots of fun, fun nicknames for me in the future. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for it. You can also find Nate and Mick at Nate. What is it, Nate? Multi multiplayer Nath. 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 
<laughs> Did you <laughs> fuck up your own name? You couldn't put Nate. <laughs> you, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You could have just done you Nate. You could put Nate instead of Nath. <laughs> <laughs> you can find you can find Nath at multiplayer Nath on Twitter. Multiplayer Nath. And Mick, you can find him at Mick Wood, right? Mick to the wood. Mick what? Mick to the wood. Mick, Mick to the wood. Mick to the wood. Cool. Uh, oh man! <laughs> <laughs> the best Twitter handle, uh, multiplayer nah. <laughs> See you guys next time. Also, speak to you guys next time. See you guys. Bye guys. We'd like to give a special thanks to Jaden Lawrence. If you want to receive shoutouts like this beautiful man, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com/multiplayered.